This conversation is taking place at the Delaware Art Museum. I'm talking today with Marianne Elschlager. Marianne, the Delaware Theatre Company has its origins in a firehouse. How, how has it evolved from there? I think that a lot of the firehouse days, as we call them, are still very much intact with the theater company. The, the founding impulse that Cleveland Morris and so many of the donors had um, is still very much alive. Just the knowledge that live theater can play such an important role in the community and in the lives of individuals. I am glad, though, that we're not in the firehouse days in one specific respect. It's my understanding that the bathrooms weren't accessible to the audience. Um, so I'm quite pleased that our venue on the riverfront is a beautiful, beautiful theatrical home. The, the theater itself is just gorgeous. The acoustics are great. The sight lines are wonderful. It ends up feeling intimate, and yet it's a large space. Um, so with all deference to the firehouse, I'm awfully glad that we could transfer the spirit of that into a facility that makes great art down on the, on the riverfront. Now, given the move from the firehouse to the riverfront, how has the mission of the Delaware Theatre Company changed or remained the same, been shaped by what you're doing? Sure. Well, I think the mission, the impulse has stayed very much the same, although as any mission it's been tweaked and refined over time, uh, really in reflection of the community's needs. Um, so education work, for instance, has always been a strong hallmark of what the theatre company does. It's currently part of our mission. And we've really tailored that work to address needs in the community as, as the decades have gone on. Now you certainly have both a regional and a national reputation for the education programming of the theater company. Could you elaborate on that? The work Charlie Conway has done as our director of education and community engagement was one of the things that drew me to the Delaware Theater Company. It really is remarkable work. Um, Charlie and his staff work all throughout the community, we, we help students who want to explore their own dramatic talents and perhaps end up on Broadway or perhaps just learn a little bit more about critical thinking. And, um, but also we spend a lot of time with youth at risk at the Ferris School for Boys specifically. We have wonderful collaborative relationships with the staff there, uh, with those who are cognitively disabled and kids on the autism spectrum. Um, so we have a range of programs that, that really help young people to understand that whether or not they want to be a Broadway actor, the arts really do enhance their lives and give them platform to communicate themselves. Marianne, thank you so much for joining us today, sharing the work of the Delaware Theatre Company and, and commend you for the great work that you're doing to keep live theatre vibrant in our community. Thank you, Paul.